Oh my gosh. Oh no. Howdy folks, in today's video we are going to be going inside the Bass Pro Shops with the actual big bass in the fishing tank and whatever lures they choose we go take to go try to catch big bass at my ponds today. Guys, we are on the road to 500,000 subscribers, so go ahead, help me get there. In today's video we have Yak Pack. Why do you never tell me what we're doing? That's a banging idea, by the way. I know, right? We have done everything to like Walmart employees pick my lures, to strangers pick my lures, to my friends pick my lures, and today the bass are picking my lures. And we also have Devin here today who's back from Hawaii. What's up, gang? It's gonna be a fun day today, a big bass mission, but we gotta start by going inside of Bass Pro Shops and seeing what these big bass like. Let's go. All right, guys, we are here in Bass Pro Shops. What I like about this challenge the most is that I think I know what the big bass like, or at least I hope I do. I've been fishing in uh, Tallahassee for five years now, so hopefully I have an understanding, but we'll test it out on the tank. But this means I get to grab like some of my favorite lures and actually go like hardcore fishing today, as long as the bass and they're like it. So. Where are the trench hogs? If I was a trench hog, where would I be? If you were to buy a trench hog, what code would you use? I would use code NORM. That's on guggensquad.com. All right guys, lure number one, awesome lure for bed fishing. The trench hog, that is gonna be lure number one, yak pack. You wanna choose out lure number two? As a matter of fact, I do. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> if you catch a five, or if I catch five, or if anybody catches a five today, will you buy me this? What is that? Exactly. It's a garment, so we'll never get lost. Lure number one for me? I kind of really like, you really put me on to this. We'll see if they like it. Yeah. Silver rattle trap. So maybe, yeah. maybe that's what you need. All right, guys, lure number three, the Kraken Crawl. Another awesome bed fishing bait. We're gonna go see if they like these. Check them out, and I got like hundreds of these colors in my trucks. Might even mess around with different colors depending on the water clarity of the pond, but we'll see if they like these colors in the tank. What's really cool about this is we'll see big bass here and then we go fishing and then nothing happens. That's my favorite part of today's video. <laughs> you know, he, don't, he don't like alligators. <laughs> Yo, this fish doesn't even have an eye, dude. Bro. Yo, why do they put a one pounder in the Bass Pro tank? I caught like legit guys, like a 914 on scale. I called Bass Pro Shops. I caught it like five minutes away from here. And they were like, no, nah, we don't need it. Like I wanted to put my own bass in the Bass Pro tank. I thought that would have been an epic video. The biggest bass in this tank. Only an eight pounder, which is weird, man. We're in Florida. All right, let's go ahead and take these out of the pack real quick. Oh, oh my gosh, you saw that? Yeah, this is this is the sauce. Crack and crawl works. <laughs> oh, look at this, look at this. Design the trap. Sometimes you just gotta make it make a lot of noise so I can get <laughs> It's coming in for the kill. Oh, he stopped in his tracks. Last lure to test out, guys, is the, uh, is the trench hog. Can we buy one of the fish, actually? No. No? Actually, uh, I can't have you guys film anything. We're just here to spend all our money on fishing lures. That's awesome. Sure. appreciate you. Thank you. All right, guys, we've tested out all the lures. Now it is time to check everything out, head to the pond, and hopefully catch some biggins. Let's go. All right, guys, so I went back up to the truck, found one last bullet weight, 3 16 ounce. Man, if this one snaps, we're kind of, we're donezo. But I left my rattle trap combo back up at the car. We already caught uh, a good amount of fish on that that I'm going to dedicate the rest of the day to just slowly dragging this thing because I feel like if we get a really big one to eat, like a eight or something, it would probably be off the Texas rig. And this looks sauce back here. Ooh. <laughs> well, a three or four pounder just swam out from right under my feet. I don't know if it was on a bed or just chilling. Well, guys, I'm gonna try dragging the bank with our trench hog. Throwing out deep randomly. I'm gonna work my way back towards that bridge where we caught the uh, the four something pounder. Ooh, I thought I just had one. Do I have one? Maybe I did, I don't know. And guys, that one bite I got out here on the trench hog was so light, but when I set the hook, it's it snapped, which they're just picking it up so slow because it's cold out. Just a log in the water right here. Good structure. The problem is too, some of these fish might be on beds, so I might not even feel the bite if they do pick it up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I got one. Oh my gosh, I do. On the trench hog, I have no clue how big it is. It doesn't feel very big, but it might be. He's running out to the middle of the pond, guys. Yo, this is fighting so weird. It might be big. It was an accident. He snapped me off. Oh my gosh. Oh, man, what is the deal with this rod and reel combo, guys? Something's going on with my line. That was a big fish, I think. 
That is terrible. Snap me clean off again. I'm, I've snapped off two out of two fish on 15 pound fluorocarbon. And he he didn't fight at all. He, like, he was running towards me so quick that I thought it was small because I didn't feel the pull. And he got right here and he pulled really hard and snapped me clean off. Dang it, guys. There's some big fish I'm losing and I do not like it. I wasn't even pulling them that hard either. I got one bullet weight left, guys. That doesn't work. And then we're kind of done. Last bullet weight. I suck. I even checked my line beforehand too. Why does it snap like that? My line right now is good. Why is it snapping? Guys, I even have the uh, the bullet weights that have that little, little thing in the side that protect you from getting snagged. I don't know, this shouldn't be happening. I'm so confused, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna reline this tonight. I don't wanna be losing big fish, especially this season, when uh, big fish, those fish, as you guys have seen, the ones that I've caught have been super fat. If you catch one with a five pounder's mouth, you got a chance to catch eight pounders, and like eight pounder's mouth, you got chances to catch 11 and 12, so. The last thing you want to do is lose him. And I have no clue how big that fish was, but he fought like a big fish where he comes in super quick and then darts out really hard, fighting weird. And he was up shallow, like shallow, shallow, and bit it and took it deep. And we've seen a couple sevens and fives when we were walking earlier, guys, with the rattle trap on the bank, hugging it. And that was right there, hugging the bank. I'm also out of trench hogs, which is what my two bites have been on. So we're going to switch it up to the crack and craw because that's all I brought in my pocket. Dang it, guys. It's all right. We'll try to catch a, another big one. It, it just hurts my heart so much. Hey, guys, the color for this is uh, Bama Bug, the color of the craw that we got on here, if you guys are wondering. We were fishing, obviously, uh, low light day and really dirty water in here. Guys, and they that that last one hit so soft. Like, normally those little small ones, you know, will machine gun it, and you'll feel them hit it like 30 times. That was one, like, scoop. And then you started running off to the right. They're hitting it. Like you gotta be paying attention with these fish today. They're not they're not letting you know they get it until they start swimming with it. All I know guys, that last fish was not anywhere under two or three. Like the way that he pulled as soon as I got him up close, I never saw him. But the way he took off with that force to snap the line and just feeling the pure weight on him, hate to do it. Try to we'll try to get another one to bite though. We really have only walked with the Texas rig so far from there to here. Good idea to come out on a day everybody else decided to stay inside. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Right where I got bit, huge bed right here. That explains it. Big bed. That's why they're picking it up so soft. Because they're just trying to get it off their bed. Dang. That is a massive bed. <laughs> oh, that's one. Oh, my gosh. You got, guys, another big one. It's fighting good. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's, he's pulling so hard on the cracking craw. Oh my gosh. Jeez, look at how hard this fish is fighting, guys. And I don't even think it's that big. Look at this. I've never seen fish fight this hard. He's bullying me and he's small. Look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at how fat <laughs> this fish is. It's super warm, too. It's crazy. It's cold outside. This fish is super warm. There we go, guys. One and a half pounder, so thick. Ridiculous. Let her go. I don't know if these fish are on beds or not, so I'm trying to, you know, not get too many Instagram pictures. Just want to get them back in the water so they, can, so they can go guard their eggs if I am catching them off beds, but I can't see what's going on. Dang. Crack and craw getting the job done. He fought so hard, too. That was epic. Dang. Maybe that last one I, I lost, like, it definitely fought harder than that one. But, I mean, that one, if I, if I was fishing anywhere else, I would have thought it was four pounds. <laughs> this is the most fun bass fishing, like, ever. They're just bullying me out here. That was ridiculous. Guys, we were catching fish earlier today in a different video you guys have probably already seen. That size and bigger. And I was just, I was just, same exact combo, just... <laughs> just bringing them in and these guys are just not wanting to like they have some fight in them it's epic yes guys this is so much fun guys it's so cool just coming out here by myself just solo rip mission really fun sometimes just go fish by yourself it's peaceful except for when you lose fish guys i see a bed right where this fish blew up at now i'm standing over it i, I don't see a fish on it at all I see that white circle. It's just not the day to go sight fishing, but we're just gonna guess that maybe there could be something there. So I'm gonna throw my, my craw on it and see if we get lucky. All right. Guys, I really don't know what time it is because I left my phone in the truck, but sun is definitely going down. But this craw, perfect thing to throw in the, uh, in the springtime, no matter if they're on beds, pre-spawn or post-spawn. Bass eat a lot of craws in the spring, so. 
We've only caught one fish on the crack and cross so far, but I got some confidence dragging this thing around the edge. It's been where all my bites have been, but also randomly bombing some out in the middle because I don't know if there's any spawning flats out there or what's out there. So far, we've been having a pretty good, pretty good day. Oh, here comes the rain. <laughs> Guys, what do you think about it? Oh no, I'm gonna get rained on. It's so weird how warm the water is and how cold it is outside. Good news is I brought my rain jacket, so we'll stay warm. Oh, that's a fish. Got him. Oh, yeah. There we go. This one might be smaller, guys. I don't know. They all fight so hard out here. I'm just trying not to snap my line. <laughs> I'm like a warrior now. Yes. This will be fish number five. Oh, that's an, oh, that's a nice one. Holy cow, guys. This is, uh, this is big. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. The rain started. We just caught ourselves a freaking five pounder. Oh, and I don't have my phone to take pictures. And here, we gotta try my scale one more time, guys. My scale's in my pocket. I was trying to get better. Guys, that is all day five pounds. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Mine be five and a half pounds. <laughs> On the crack and craw, man. For real? And I don't have a scale or my phone. Guys, check that big girl out. Boom! <laughs> yeah, that's close to six all day. Look at how look at all the eggs in her. That is a pre-spawn fatty right there. Holy cow. Let's freaking go. Check one more time. Guys, my scale is just done. My scale is done. I got it three days ago. Come on. That's what I got it for is to weigh these big girls. That is a behemoth of a bass right there. But good news is I caught a five pounder a couple days ago. And uh, this one's definitely bigger so big girl wanted to crawl we're gonna let her go holy cow look at that football golly guys look at that see you girl yes yes it spit my craw off like halfway through the reel and two or got the tail spit off good news is i got more craws we'll check my line after that one that is so weird i could have sworn that fish was a pound when i started reeling it guys and then i saw it crack and craw coming in sauce bb guys use code norm if you want uh 10 percent off if not you're not hurting my feelings well everything's good everything is fine no phrase no nothing if this next one snaps off randomly i'm just gonna get a whole new combo this combo has been snapping off a lot and i think the problem is there might be a scrape in one of my eyes. That's the only thing I can think of to why I'm losing them. All right. Let's get back out there. Jeez, man. Of course I wouldn't have my phone and my scale would be broken. I'm going to play with this thing, actually, while we're, while we're waiting on the next fish to bite. I'll just leave my cross sitting out there. If I switch the batteries around. Guys, this thing turned on yesterday. I promise you. Oh, my. You're kidding me, bro. I flipped the batteries. <sighs> Is that just not funny? Now we have a working scale after I catch the biggest fish of the day. Epic. We'll catch another big one, guys. Now the scale's working. Got him. There we go. <laughs> that was epic, guys. Heck yeah. Woo. It's fighting tough. Dang, that's a good one too. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely like two, two and a half pounder. Heck yeah. Swimming the old bandito bog. Oh my gosh. That's a big one. That's a big one. Holy cow. <laughs> that was epic, guys. Oh my gosh. Jeez, please don't come off. Oh no, oh no. Holy cow. <laughs> Biggin, biggin man, holy cow. Guys, it's starting to rain. I'm taking cover under the tree. I hope you guys can see that bass. That is a solid, uh, but probably three and a half to four pound bass right there. That is a freaking giant reeling the old bandito bug. Look how thick that fish is, man. That is crazy, guys. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> Big in, let's go. Megalodon. 
let her go. Hey guys, this rain's a little ridiculous, but that means nobody else is fishing out here. Everybody's inside cozy and warm. I promise you guys, go out fishing in the rain and at night. I know I don't do a lot of that on the channel just because you guys can't see it, but those are some of the best times to go fishing is when it's rainy out and when it's nighttime. He swims directly away from it. That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks for making the video. <laughs>